Hello, it's yet another beautiful day and your own Blizz Uganda with me, your girl, Susie and And today we are having the man himself, Peter Miles. He's going to be telling us more about himself, more about his music career and why he has been lost for quite some time. So, hello, Peter Miles. Hello, how are you? You're most welcome on Blizz Uganda. Thank you, thank you, bless. It has been a while. Where have, where have you disappeared from? <laughs> um, it's not about disappearing. I mean... Sometimes you get um, engagements in life because um, I've not only been concentrating on investing in music, but I've also been concentrating on, on other aspects of business and life and investment, you know, because um, when you look worldwide, um, the relevant artists and people, have, you know, who've managed to keep on track, uh, people who have managed to think out of the box and invest wisely out of the music as well and create other brands away from the music. So when you look at people like PDD, Jay-Z, Will Smith and all of them, you know, the, they invested wisely and um, it's, it's a wise thing to invest after music. So I've also been concentrating a lot on business and concentrating on my international album, which also takes a quite... Um, good good time to prepare and set up so um it's 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 not that i've been away but i've been engaged in other businesses because i really do music as a passion and i don't really look at music as as my my approach is not is not monetary value but the love for it from from the heart when the money comes in it's a bonus but again you have to think out of the box and think of how to prepare for your future and invest wisely so right now you just found me in studio and i'm working on my 20 18, 2019 projects and those will include my local and international tune releases that i'll both release locally and internationally Okay, so Peter Miles, what are you talking about? Is it, is it this boat cruise business we are hearing about? Oh, since. Yeah, I'm into, I'm into a lot of um, tourism and water, luxury water, boating and transport and sports. And, you know, because we have a lovely country that we need to exploit and we're not doing anything about it. Uh, I'm also into real estate. I'm also into, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to put together and it's I'm, I'm still taking my baby walks but I should be getting there so before we go any further what inspired you to do music is it a hobby or we call it passion I'll call it passion I'm born to a musical family and I started say like playing musical instruments keys and and guitar and, and and flutes and trumpets and everything at a very tender age of about six years. By nine years I was playing in church. I could play like for, I, I could play service, a full service in church. So I should say it's passion and um, my family has a musical background as well. So I should say it's, 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 it's within me, it's passion and whatever you want to call it, love and passion or whatever you want to call it, yeah. Okay, so Peter Miles uh, had run a million dollar deal of transferring refugees. We would like to hear about the other story about that. A million dollars is quite a lot of money. It's, it's what we had, so when I got the time to meet you, I had to ask you that. Um, yeah, of course I had um, some engagements with the united nations and it's not about the money or it's not about how much i made but it's about the love and care for humanity you know i had the facilities and i was able to save a number of refugees that were drowning on lake albert from congo and yeah i had a meeting with uh, with the stakeholders that were responsible for transporting refugees under the United Nations and I offered to be part of the stakeholders that were going to help out and uh, transfer these refugees safely from 
from uh, Congo into the settlement camps in Uganda. So we shouldn't look at the money bit of it, but we should look at the humanitarian part of it. We thought it was something like charity or trying to help some people there out there or... Yeah, let's call it <laughs> charity. Let's call it a humanitarian act, you know. Um, let's we shouldn't put the money forth because it, it, there's more I mean money can't buy life so let's look at the humanitarian side of it the, the money side of it okay um what do you think about this save Ugandan music yeah it's a good strategy but the artists also need to save themselves to begin with you understand um we need to know how to do music that can be ready for export and that can cross borders, you understand? Um, yes, there's a lot of music on the scene, but it's too commercial that sometimes it fails to break boundaries and barriers. My music career, actually getting recognition in Uganda was because I got recognition out of Uganda first. So probably back home, the people back home or the promoters or the people on the radio stations and the media and all that uh, probably picked up interest because they were getting information from out of the country of um, an artist that comes from the country. First, yeah. recognize that of Uganda. Well, what do you mean by first getting out of Uganda? I started my music career um, and I was singing in Patwa and, you know, I was trying to use some languages, English and Patwa, like languages that can cross borders. And basically it was local music in Luganda that was selling locally. And I didn't get justice for airplay in Uganda to begin with, but I got justice out of Uganda. So my music was playing more in Kenya than it was playing in Uganda, and it played in Tanzania, and played in some parts of Europe, and played in some parts of the Caribbean. So basically, I blew up in Nairobi yeah. before I blew up in Uganda. Mm. That is so. something good. By singing that Patwa language, does it? You know, most artists nowadays, you, you guys sing, you give us your songs like your target is to the youths, not really. So that patwa language, does it really target to the youths or to the entire audience? It's not patwa as a language, but it's English. Because if I sing patwa, because it's a lingua you use sometimes to make patterns in a verse. But again, it's English that you can understand, you know? So it's a universal language that can amalgamate different people from different parts of the world. I mean, Luganda is a language that relates to the central part of Uganda, which I also sing, but I also want to sing in a language because I, I can't sing Francophone, I don't understand French, but I would like to use a language that can cross borders, that can give me a wide perspective and a wide, um, circumference of my music worldwide or other parts or to people who understand English as a language. Okay, so uh, maybe to add on that, the other part where we, we talked about business, the boat cruise business, is it your hobby or something where it's something you do to get money or it's you do for leisure time? Uh, I should say both because I never go for a business I don't have passion in. So you have to do what you love. If you're picking up a business, you have to have love for it because you have the downs and ups. And so if you look at a business and you think you're going to make profits in the first run and you get some disappointment, it might run down. I grew up in Entebbe. I grew up on the water. Um, I love water, you know. So... It started as a passion because I knew with time I definitely had to own a boat of my own because I, I, I want to move on the water most of the time. That's where I get my... So how many boats do you own? There are a couple of them now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So, Peter Miles, any last words you love your fans to get? The people who get inspired from your music. Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank all my fans for the time they've been there for me and... Um, 
from time memorial from 19 all along you know to today and you know the love never ends because you keep finding them all the fans i find you know in uganda in nairobi in the caribbean in europe in you know south africa you know all parts all walks of life you know it gives me joy especially when i move out of the country and find that i've got fans out of the country and my fans locally you know love comes straight from the heart back to them okay i know so since we have found you here in in the studios you do expect something that you're cooking something there yeah i'm actually Actually, I've just finished voicing a mad tune. I would call it a mad tune. Do you mind giving us a little bit? Should, should we call it a cappella? Yeah. Um, I don't know if, you, if, if my ethics allow me to <laughs> sing a song that's unreleased. Okay, yeah, yeah, by the way, you are right, you are right. Yeah, but um, just believe me, you know, like my fans know, you know, I never disappoint when I get down on a track, you know, you j I just need a mic in front of me and a track in the background and, you know, magic will happen. Okay, thank you, Peter Miles. It was a pleasure having you on Blizz Uganda. Thank you very much. It was you, a pleasure having you too. You are welcome. So our dear, f our dear viewers, we have come to the end of the show. Catch us up next time, Blizz Uganda. It has been your host, Susie N. God bless.